High School Football on Bear Country 95.3. Good evening and welcome to South Hadley High School Friday Night Football and we are into the postseason. The Frontier Red Hawks taking on the South Hadley Tigers in a Western Mass Division 7 semifinal. The winner likely to play the Wakona Warriors next weekend for the Western Mass D7 Championship. Jeff Terrell, Sean Hubert alongside studio producer tonight is Dave Reno. Well, it was this weekend, a year ago, Sean, you and I were at Frontier Regional, and it was the same matchup. Frontier won that one, 28 to 21. Again, a lot of graduation losses. They've taken a bit of a step down. They were unable to successfully defend their league championship. That one went to Turner's Falls outright last weekend with their win over East Hampton. Frontier stumbling a little bit down the stretch, but a year later, a chance to get back to a Western Mass title for a second straight year. Yeah, and really, it was that Turner's game that was the big one in, in the season for them. Uh, the overtime loss, 35-28, uh, I believe, was the final there. Mm -hmm. um, and that was we thought that might break their backs, but here again, they were able to rally and uh, have enough points to make the tournament. So, hey, they're right where they want to be. Now it's a matter of uh, trying to come down here. And look at this. I mean, this is just a beautiful night, and this field is amazing. And uh, it, 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 we're going to see a good football game. We know what Frontier is. We know what they do. So then it's just a matter of if they can execute it. South Hadley, they come in on a high right now. They're 6-2 and two overall. They finished 5-0 and oh in the league. They are champions of the Suburban League South. They opened up the season with a shutout loss to East Long Meadow, 23 to nothing. Then they got pounded by Mashpee, obviously an independent game there from an Eastern Mass team. Mashpee won that one, 48-8. But then they ran the table, victories over Putnam, Husick, who's playing Turner's Falls tonight, by the way. We'll be getting updates from Bobby C. More on Turner's in a bit. They win at Commerce with a shutout. Pittsfield, Taconic, and Chicopee. But you look at the number of points that they have put up since their uh, opening two-game losing streak, their six-game winning streak, 34, 36, 36, 50, 28, and 46 points. This team... Again, they were good last year, but they've returned most of those kids that lost to Frontier last year. A lot of them are back, whereas Frontier graduated a lot of talent. Right, and again, I think it, to compare it to the folks back home, it would be uh, like when Greenfield was in the Suburban League and Turner's was in the Erin County League. They're, they're playing two vastly different schedules, these oh, two yeah. teams. So uh, when you look at where uh, Frontier has competed this season and, and against whom, uh, again, they've had a great season, but uh, if they played South Hadley's schedule, that would have been a whole different ball game. This is going to be a tough one here tonight for Frontier. One thing that would help, uh, and of course it's an unfortunate situation for South Hadley, but it will benefit Frontier Regional as uh, Liam Dawson, outstanding athlete, outstanding football player for the South Hadley Tigers. He's out with a broken collarbone that he suffered last week in their victory, but they do have the two hunters, Borowski and Carey, who have really put up a lot of points and a lot of yardage this year, but they're going to have to depend on some other guys picking up the slack. On the other side, heck of a year, a uh, guy, Garrett DeForest, who uh, kind of played a supporting role last year, you know, he got his fair amount of touches, but uh, this year he really stepped up and had a great year. Well, he really led the team throughout the first uh, five or six games, and I think it was finally the Turner's game where we saw him kind of unleash Matt Hildreth a little bit. I expected him to run a little bit more. I expected him to utilize his athleticism, uh, but they didn't. He really only threw the ball maybe five, ten times a game max, uh, so they didn't roll him out a lot. They didn't have him running the ball. Against Turner's, we saw a little bit of wildcat, a little bit of different things happening back there, uh, misdirection moving around, and getting the quarterback outside the pocket. And uh, Obviously, Matt Hildreth will play a huge part in this game tonight, not just throwing the ball, but running it as well. Winner of this game will play, again, likely Wakona. They're in action tonight. The other half of the bracket, we'll talk more about that as the night goes along. And we will be getting updates from Turner's Falls High School, Bordo Fields. Bobby C. is there, and he will be providing updates on that Turner's Falls game going up against Hoosick Valley Regional out of the Berkshires. We will take a timeout. We'll come back at you, Seth, for the opening kickoff. Frontier, South Hadley coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, 
Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. One of these teams will be playing for the Western Mass Championship next weekend. The other one will play a non-qualifier. Talk about the difference between games. South Hadley now kicking off to begin this game. 11 minute quarters here, Frontier to receive. The ball comes down, hits off the helmet, and a swarm of Tigers come down and bury the Frontier deep man back at his own 20 yard line. First and 10 for the Hawks Kick from the there. By number seven, Matt and that was Hildreth, the quarterback, the who ended up getting line. buried down there, Sean. Yeah, yeah Hildreth got that off the mask. Actually, the thing hit about five feet in front of him, skipped right up on him, and by the time he was able to corral it, South Hadley was already downfield. So, yeah, Frontier's going to start this opening drive with the nose of the ball right on their own 20 yard line. First down and 10, moving left to right here in the opening quarter in this Western Mass semifinal. Nothing. Opening carry, left side, nowhere to go for Garrett DeForest. He got hit immediately. And we'll see if they give him forward momentum or not. They're gonna drop him for a loss of about one. Back to the 19 yard line, second down and 11. Yeah, this is gonna tell us early what Frontier is going to be able to do and what they're not going to be able to do tonight. Right now, they just tried one up the gut. That went absolutely nowhere, actually lost a yard. So second and 11 here. Hildreth calling signals. He will take it himself. Accelerates into the secondary. Actually did hand off that ball. I thought it was a quarterback keeper. Handed it off. Short of the first down, but the ball is going to be right around the 29-yard line. We'll call third down at about two. Yeah, we hadn't seen much of Josh Samansky here in the second half of the season. He started out pretty well, and then we saw a little bit more Alec Kirkendall in the last few weeks. Nice carry there by him. Kirkendall is the fullback. And the handoff again is going to go to Samaski. He's right at the stick. Will, will depend, yeah, they're already waving him, no measurement, first down and 10 for the Hawks. So a terrible first play, but a couple of nice carries and they'll move the sticks. Yeah, absolutely. DeForest got stuffed on that opening play, but Josh Samaski back in the backfield, couple of carries, 12 yards, first down for Frontier. So ball just over the 30 yard line now for them. Samaski, one of the guys who uh, will be back for Frontier next year. Now they break out into the shotgun formation. That's what I wondered. And they're moving guys around everywhere here. That's really a pistol formation. And it's not going to work. They go to Kirk and down. He got hit immediately as the Tigers ended up into the backfield. Alec had nowhere to go, and he has dropped down for a loss. Yeah, Kirkendall's has done good work this season. He's just a sophomore, but... Even with all the smoke and mirrors and people moving around, South Hadley was not fooled. Kirkendall just tried to take it up the gut, and he's actually going to lose a yard on that carry. Nine minutes to play here in this first quarter. We're just underway. Frontier with one first down on this opening drive. They have it. Second down and 12 from their own 29-yard line. Out of the shotgun. They fake it. It's Hildreth. Take a left side. Got away from one tackle, but not the second. Unable to get... Well, he got the ball back, I guess, to the line of scrimmage, which was the 29-yard uh, line. And it'll be third down and third long, and maybe the first pass Hildreth. attempt of the night coming up here. You see the way they set that play up. Again, they have the guard and the, the tackle pull, and everybody comes over to the other side. And, oh, actually, we had a penalty on the flat on the uh, play, but that was going to be declined there by South Hadley. But that time they tried to fool everybody, come back the other way, but South Hadley stayed home. Oh. Third down and 12 again, going to that spread offense, which you just never see. And they move the guard and the tackle from the left to the right. Looks like, flag. yeah, it's a flag comes down. We had motion, no, and I thought maybe one of the South Hadley Ball guys jumped, but he was field. drawn off by the left tackle of Frontier. And that will go against the Red Hawks. Well, I really thought that was against South Hadley too. I saw the kid jump on the right side, but the referee's a lot closer than we are. So it's gonna be a five yard penalty against the Hawks. So not what you wanted there. It's gonna be third and about 16 yards now for them. They've got just over the 40 yard line to get a first down here. Clock in motion, 8.24 to play here in the opening quarter. We are scoreless, just underway. Shotgun formation. Hildreth takes the snap, looks to the right, throws deep over the middle, and the pass is tipped away by Carey. Intended receiver was DeForest at the 45 of South Hadley. Incomplete, fourth down. I'll tell you, a great throw would have had his receiver in stride, but even better defensively by Carey there as he just leapt up and knocked that thing down at the last second. So great defensive play there by South Hadley. And now the Red Hawks are going to have to punt like fourth and 16. Hunter Carey will go back to midfield to get this punt. 
on fourth down and long. So one first down for the Red Hawks, but a very uneven performance. Couple of good runs and a couple of plays that did not work at all. Now Hildreth will drop back into punt formation. Kicks it away, a nice boot. Carey takes it from his 46. Left hash mark into frontier territory. 40, 35, 30 yard line. Then he gets stood up there, driven back, but a very short field for the Tigers to begin their opening drive. It will begin right around the 30 yard line of the Hawks. Well, as you said, uneven performance there on the opening drive by the Red Hawks. Tried some different things. Kickoff was taken for a punt. Was taken yeah, he said a couple good runs, a first Harris, down, but ultimately the penalty and now the punt. Austin. South Hadley's going to start their first the drive of the game Jackie at Bond. the Frontier 30 yard line. South Hadley will have the ball first down. And, and quarterback Hunter Borowski will lead him up. Number five. We're going to see a lot of carry. We're going to see a lot of, uh, a lot of different guys in there for the South Hadley Tigers. First down and 10, Borowski sends a man in motion. He'll take it himself on the direct snap, takes it inside the 30, over the left tackle down to the 26 yard line of the Hawks. That's a good gain of four. Second down and six. Tyrell Brathwaite will be the guy that's coming in for the uh, injured Liam Dawson. We'll see a little bit of him tonight, Ben Watkins. We'll see him carry the ball as well. Number five, he's in the game right now. Second down and six for the Tigers. They'll send two receivers to the far side right, including Carey, who will often end up in the backfield as well. Out of the shotgun formation, Borowski pitches on the right side. Deep handoff and a nice cut to the outside. And that's going to go for a first down inside the 20-yard line of Frontier. Actually, right at the 20, we'll see. If, in fact, Tyrell Brathwaite did get that. Yeah, looks right Jackson at the stick. Feet. Excuse me, I said Ben Wat uh, Watkins was number five. He's obviously number 10, and he threw a great block right there for Brathwaite to be able to get over the right side. Pretty much untouched after that great block, and they're going to say it is a first down. So first carry for Brathwaite, get some 10 yards, and a first down for South Hadley. So each team with one first down here in the early going. The difference is Frontier began their drive on their own 20. South Hadley began this drive on the Red Hawk 30 yard line. From just inside the 20, first down and 10, pistol formation. And handoff will go to Carey. Hunter brings it down inside the 20, inside the 15, still going. He'll bring it down to around the 13 yard line. A nice first down gain there. Boy, I'll tell you, just crisp execution. You can just see everybody's going to their spot. The handoff was perfect. The hole opened up. Gonna give a gain of seven on his first carry for Hunter Carey. So one carry by Brathwaite for 10 yards. And Hunter Carey, just a junior, his first carry for seven right there. Tigers in the red zone here early on. Second down and three. Borowski out of the shotgun formation. He will take it himself up the middle, close to the 10 yard line. Looks like that is good for a first down. Looks like he got it just inside the 10. We'll see if they move the chains. Yeah, they will. Like they will automatically, yep. First down and goal from just inside the 10. A couple carries in the early going here for the quarterback, Borowski. Nine yards on the ground for him. And it'll be first and, first and goal. Nine yard line. Five minutes, 45 seconds left to play here in the opening quarter. So we're just about halfway through. Frontier got one first down on their opening drive before they had to punt. And three first downs so far in this drive for the Tigers. Borowski, out of the gun. He will send Brathwaite in motion. Inside oh, gift to there. carry, and a flag comes in as they were coming down. Kirkendall was the first man that came up from his linebacking position to deck him. We'll see about that flag, though. Yeah, Corbin Blight was there as well, but... Gonna go against the Tigers. The number 19, Josh Samaski. And that's a Final hole. Play. Josh Samaski also Balling helped out on that tackle as well. Well, it'll be the first penalty against the Tigers. It'll cost them 10. Frontier's been penalized just once for five yards so far. And that was a hold. Great tackle in the hole there by Blight. Yuck came right blasting Penalty through. Hunter Carey, I mean, he's got that great foot speed, but if you get him that quick before he can make his cut, you're gonna, you're gonna succeed. The ball all the way back now to the 20 yard line. So it will be first and goal from there. Just inside the 20, we should say. Borowski calling the signal, is out of the shotgun. Coming in motion, he's back to pass. Rolling to the right, floats it out, caught by Carey, right sideline, tiptoes, he's gonna go into the end zone for the touchdown. 20 yard touchdown pass to Hunter Carey, and it's six nothing Tigers. Well, they've done nothing but run the ball so far there in that opening drive, so yeah, just flipped it right out there to Carey, and. 
he made that look easy, just accelerating down the right side. So Borowski completes his only pass on that drive for 20 yards and a touchdown. Carey with a seven yard run. Brathwaite with a 10 yard run and South Hadley made that look pretty easy. They did, Sean. <laughs> I mean, they had the penalty and they had all, you know, they had that one play that Frontier blew up, but for the most part, they were able to move with ease down the road and into the end zone. They will go for two. Out of the gun. Carey comes in motion, he'll take it on a sweep, and he will take it left side into the end zone. The two point and conversion the is good. We will take a timeout here. Four minutes, 51 seconds left to play here in the first quarter and on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard. It's South Hadley 8, Frontier nothing. The kick goes to Matt Hildreth from his own 10, takes it. 20 yards up to the 30, and then he got pasted right they there. That's the second time in a row that he got decked for the second kickoff. Great coverage by the Tigers. Yeah, again, he was able to make a little bit more headway that time. Last time he kind of bobbled it there a little bit, and he just had nowhere to go. This time he was able to kind of run up the middle there a little bit and try to make a cut and just ran into a brick wall. So Frontier will start their second drive of the game with the nose of the ball right on the 30-yard line. And they will go shotgun. And they line up heavy to the right side. Option to the left. Pitch. Ball came out, but then scooped back up. And it's going to go for just a short gain on the far left side. Let's see who that ball carrier Pitch was. That was uh, Garrett DeForest. Taking down by number nine, James. And we'll give him a gain of about two or three there. Second down and long coming up. Yeah, so just a couple carries so far for DeForest. Four yards for him. And Samaski on that first drive had a couple of carries for 12 yards. Yeah, you're right, about second and eight here now for Frontier. Two receivers to the near side right. Freeman's out there and also Corbin Blight. Shotgun formation, Hildreth takes a low snap. Inside give to Alec Kirkendall, brings it to the 35 yard line, gain of a couple. And the Hawks now looking at third down and five. Again, trying to spread the field and yeah, Kirkendall will gain a two on that one. So, and we'll give him three, so plus two on his two carries. But yeah, you can see they're trying to spread the field to get the runners and open. Open spaces, but South Hadley doing a nice job. Freeman goes split to the far side left. Near side right is DeForest and Blight. Shotgun formation, again, they bring the two linemen to the right side. They're stacked heavy back there. Back to pass Hildreth with some time. Now he's gonna tuck it under, take it himself. Slips through, he's stretching with his arm, trying to get that first down. He will be about a yard and a half though shy Fourth down in an early decision time now for Don Gordy. He's got a fourth down and one in his own territory. Yeah, this is a, it's a pivotal place in the game, really. I mean, you're down eight to nothing. South Hadley moved the ball pretty much with ease, and I think Frontier's going to take a timeout and, and talk about this. Yeah. We'll take a oh, we're gonna yeah, we'll take a quick 30 second break. Back after this on Bear Country 95.3. All right, we'll see if Frontier, in fact, is going to go now under center. It's Hildreth. That does not mean that they're going to go necessarily, but they are stacked up. They are going to run the play, and they go center of the line, lurching forward. Ball, ball came out late anyway. They weren't going to get the first down anyway, so it really doesn't matter who recovered it. It is going to be South Hadley ball just inside the 40-yard line of Frontier. They rolled the dice, and it didn't work. Well, and, and, and Hildreth, you know, he turns his body, he kind of rolls, and it cuts back into the line, but the South Hadley defense is just too quick for that. They had that clogged up, and. Then the ball came out at the end of the play. I think South Hadley actually recovered it, but as you said, not enough for the first down either way. But I understand the play call there. I really yeah. do. Uh, you know, you're down eight. If you can possess the ball here a little bit longer, keep it out of their hands. But well, you don't want to be down 16 nothing too quickly. That could be what's happening right now. Uh, again, a very prolific scoring team, averaging well over 30 points a game after a very slow start. All right, first down and 10 from the 39-yard line. Inside gift to carry. And he got wrapped up by Corbin Blight in the backfield who was able to corral his legs, bring him down for just a gain of one to the 39. It'll be second down and nine. Just a couple carries so far in the early going here for Hunter Carey, eight yards on the ground, but he did catch the 20 yard touchdown pass. Frontier's defense really needs to keep the Tigers out of the end zone here. I mean, if you're looking back, a uh, very fast defense as we've seen, John, uh, Sean, and a very physical defensive team, you don't want to fall behind too far too early. Not at all. 
Tyler Brathwaite on the right side. He got tripped up as he came through. All right, so the defense of the frontier, and that's Blight again who came up and was able to trip him up for maybe a gate of one to the 38. It'll be third down in line. Yep, Hildreth in on that tackle as well. So Brathwaite, just a couple carries. He had 10 yards on his first carry. Give him a gain of a yard there. And so now South Hadley's in third and long themselves at the uh, Frontier 39. Going to get just inside the 30-yard line for the first. Just under two minutes to play here in the opening quarter. 8-0 in favor of South Hadley. Touchdown pass to carry on their last drive. But they have been stymied so far. Aiden Sullivan comes to the near side left. Also out there is Watkins. Shotgun formation, Carey comes in motion. He'll take it on the sweep left, looking for a block, gets it. He's got the first down, this is 30. Little spin move, still on his feet. Still going, he's going. and he's gonna take it in for a touchdown. What a run! And I have to say, Sean, not a good job at all of tackling by the Frontier Red Hawks. Well, there's a little bit of that, but then there was a lot of Hunter Carey on that run as well. And wow. I mean, that's one of those ones where you just know he's going down. All of a sudden, the spin move, he rolls off a kid's back, and he's still on his feet. And he had a blocker out in front of him, and then too, great blocking on the play, and then just athleticism. He made some kids miss, a couple other kids missed themselves, and again, he ended up spinning back over and rolling right off a defender, stayed on his feet, and what a great run that was. That was a lot of fun. 14 to nothing in favor of the Tigers. They will go for two again. They were successful with Carey running it in on their first touchdown. Carey will line up in a slot right. Borowski, the quarterback, out of the shotgun. And he's going to take it himself. Quarterback draw did not get there. Frontier was able to keep him out of the end zone. Two point conversion fails. We'll take another timeout. And we have a minute 19 left to play here in the first quarter. And on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard, it is South Hadley 14 and Frontier nothing. Frontier zero. From his 10. Hildreth from the 10. Matt Hildreth from his own 10 yard line. Left hash mark takes it up the center of the field and he is knocked down at the 30 yard line. And Frontier now, this is where they begin their last drive. Unable to get a first down, they turned it over on fourth down and a couple of plays later into the end zone go the Tigers. Yeah, the opening drive was from their own 20 yard line. They were not able to get a first down and punted the ball away. South Hadley was in the end zone about five plays later, so now up by two scores. Frontier really got to move the ball here. They had one first down on their opening drive, and that has been it. Handoff goes to Alec Kirkendall up the middle, keeps the legs a chugging, takes it up to the 32-yard line. We'll give Alec two on that one. It'll be second down and eight. James Kutcher, you can see, trying to rip that ball out of there as Kirkendall is going down. Kirkendall's a solid kid. I don't have the side or weight, but he's just a sophomore. But boy, he is a load. Give him a gain of three game on that three carry. Play brings up a second and seven ball at the 33 yard line. Yeah, you're right. Kirkendale definitely a load to bring down for sure. They uh, running out of the shotgun formation on second down long. Option left. Hildreth will keep it himself. Looks to turn the corner. Does so. Has the first down. And he gets up near the midfield strike. They're actually going to mark him out of bounds up and around the 46 yard line. Nice Denver, run there seven, and a desperately needed first down for the Hawks. Yeah, you know, and this is the, the furthest downfield they've been so far. They're at about the 46, their own 46 yard line. And some good blocks out there for Hildreth. Hildreth waited for a block at the end of that play and he was able to gain another five, six yards after that. Oh, good run there, yeah, big first down there for Frontier. They needed that. Coming down to the end of the quarter here, 10 seconds left, we'll see if Frontier can get this play off from their own 46 yard line. And I think they're, they're not, not going to get no. this playoff. They're in no hurry. End of one here in South Hadley, Western Mass D7 semifinal. Carquest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Children's scoreboard. It's South Hadley 14, Frontier nothing. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. 
Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. We will be hearing from Bobby C, who's over at Turner's Falls, as they are hosting Husik. That's one side of the DA bracket. The other side is Lee Ware. Most people are thinking Lee will make it to the final in D8, and most people think Wakona for sure will make it to the final Division 7. And we've already seen the Warriors earlier this year. Boy, they're, they're unbelievable, Sean. They were unbelievable. And yeah, I'm a little still was disappointed that Greenfield lost last week to Belchertown. That might have set up a, a yeah. Turner's Greenfield playoff game if things had shaken out right, but unable to win that game and Ware snuck into the four spot. First down and 10 from the 46, and this pass is caught by DeForest as the guy jumped the rope. Garrett DeForest, right sideline, still going inside the 20 yard line. He is out of bounds. We'll see where they spot him actually right around the 20. It'll be first and 10 for Frontier. Yeah, give DeForest 34 yards on the catch. And you could see the linebacker did jump the route. I think he went for the catch. He tried to snag that ball out of the air. He was not playing the, 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 the receiver at all. He saw a pick six, and he just ran right by DeForest, snatched it out of the air, and ran right by him. Every DB just dreams of that. I mean, they, they love breaking up plays, but what they really like are those pick sixes, and it's so deflating to the other team. But the drive continues, first and 10 from the 20, a low snap, and they're gonna go to the wow. first, went right up the middle into the end zone, touchdown! 20 yard touchdown run by Garrett DeForest. It is 14-6. Well, it looked like this thing might be getting away a little bit from Frontier, you know, again, South Adley scores on their opening drive, and. Short fields for them. You guys kind of struggled a little bit. Couldn't get out of your own end. But now, a couple of big plays by DeForest. Frontier is on the scoreboard. Looks like it. Looks like they got the T. I think they're going to kick the extra point. Yeah, usually they do with uh, with Mr. Hildreth, the quarterback. They're going to kick here. Yeah, that play got the uh, stamp of approval from Alec, the uh, cameraman here in the booth with us. Heck from, yeah. From FK. Alec said, yeah. He gave it a nod. He said, I like it. Snap back, placement down, the kick is up. Right side looks like he pushed it right, he did. So the conversion kick is no good. Let's take a timeout. Early second quarter action here in South Deer, uh, South Hadley, I should say. And on the car quest of Refield, South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard, it is South Hadley 14, Frontier 6. Well, tomorrow, we're gonna be smashing pumpkins tomorrow. We're gonna have a lot of fun up at Hager's Farm Market. Pumpkin Smash 2018, we've done this for a long time now. Bring your pumpkins to Hager's starting at 10 o'clock. We're going to, or starting at 11 rather, till two o'clock. And you could win a prize, cash prize and a trophy. Short kick comes up. One of the Upman's gonna take it into Frontier territory, still going. And they're going to have a short field to begin this drive. It ended up going. Again, one of the Upman, who was that 14? Kyle Johnson, an outside linebacker, and he brought it to the 44 yard line of Frontier. Yeah, it looked good with the ball, too. Cut back, was able to make a kid miss, and then got dragged down and gained a bunch of yards even at the end of the play, all the way down into Frontier territory at the 44 yard line. So South Adley's had some pretty good starting field position, and they've got two touchdowns to show for it. All right, we'll see how Frontier can do against number two. Number two has been number one tonight. Talking about Hunter Carey, number two for South Alley. He scored all the points tonight. Three receivers to the near side right. Quarterback draw right up the middle. Nice play there by Borowski. Takes it from the 44-yard line down to around the... Number five, Hunter well, we'll 44, they're going to spot it down at the 37 yard line. It's gained seven. It'll be second down and three. 16 yards on three carries for the quarterback, Borowski. Also completed the only pass he's attempted so far. That was the 20 yard touchdown he threw to carry. But a nice counter punch there by the Hawks yeah. with that TD run by DeForest. Just yeah. even strictly from a confidence level. Yes, I yeah. Mean, can't, it, can't overlook that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because they, they were starting to not hang their heads necessarily, but. You could tell there was a lot of concern there. Now they need a stop. The give is to carry, and he gets hit in the backfield. He's going to get dropped down for no gain, maybe only a gain of one. Third down coming up, a chance to get a three and out here, hopefully. I'm gonna say the defense for Frontier does look a little quicker right now. The South Hadley offense looks fast out the gate. Frontier was right there to stuff that play, so third down, and we'll call it a long two short three here for South Hadley. 
Speaking of that uh, pumpkin smash tomorrow, Sean, I'm a little nervous. We're going to have some high winds tomorrow. I'm a little worried about being uh, up on that lift that we use. play the slice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. It's, uh, I mean, I'm used to it now. We've done it so many. I'm not really afraid of heights, but I'm not comfortable at the same time. Yeah, I hear you. Timeout called by South Hadley. We'll take a quick 30 second, second break. Back after this on Bear Country 95.3. All right, third down now coming out of the timeout. Carey comes in motion. Brodsky's going to keep it himself, and he brings it up to uh, down to the 32-yard line of Frontier. That will be good for a first down, so they convert on third down after the timeout, and the drive will continue. Yeah, and that was likely four down territory there anyway. Yep. But the quarterback was able to get it up for the first, so first and 10 from the 33-yard line there for South Hadley. Keeps this drive alive. The other side of the bracket, Wakona versus Taconic. Now the Braves are a good team, but I will be stunned if it's not the Warriors. Boy, they so good. Left side, the carry, cuts back, has the first down, breaking tackle, still going inside the 10, down to the nine yard line. Hunter Carey having Carey one heck of a first half here. Carey yeah, 33 to the nine, nine so another 24 yard rip over. there for Carey. That's good for another 72 yards now on just five carries for Hunter Carey. First down and goal from the Frontier Nine now. 14-6 here. They're looking to go back up by two scores here. The wind's starting to pick up. And we're expecting rain and a lot of it overnight. We're hoping to get this game in with yeah, little glad, or no rain. Glad it held off. So far. Yeah, right. And out of the gun. Carey comes in motion. That's actually the other running back. And Tyrell Braithwaite will take it. Down close to the five yard Break line. By number four, Tyrell Braithwaite. See what they Stop mark him the down. By number six, Corbin Blake. Ball is at the five. It'll be second and goal from the Game five. Yep. The 16 play. yards on three carries for Braithwaite. Five yard line. Of course, it's Hunter Carey with his five carries and 72 yards leading the way for South Hadley as they're poised to score again. Currently up 14 to six. Two touchdowns so far for Carey. One touchdown by Garrett DeForest. Borowski calling the signals. Second down from the four. The give is to carry. He'll take it on the left side. Got tripped up as he headed towards the end zone. And he did not get in. He is inside the five yard line. Third and down now. The ball down carry. to the two yard Stop line. Right to the two, play. so. Or actually, a closer than that. Brings up a third yeah, and goal from the one. Inside the two there a little yeah. bit, yeah. yeah. Right on the, it's on the one now. On the far side of the field from where we are, but it's gonna be a third and goal here. Very short, yard, yard and a half. So two cracks to go, as Sean mentioned, about a yard, yard and a half. Borowski keeps the ball here. That seems to make the most sense to me, but. See if they get him under center now. But no, we're gonna have him in that shotgun formation. Coming in motion. Sweep on the right side. Brathwaite's going to take it in for the touchdown. And touchdown South Hadley. Tyrell Braithwaite takes it in from a yard and a half out. Six more for the Tigers. They lead it 20 to six. Yeah, we talked a little bit about Liam Dawson being out of this game after a broken collarbone last week. And we knew Carey would carry most of the weight, but Braithwaite there, four carries, 18 yards and into the end zone. So South Hadley extends their lead to 20 to six now. Tigers are one for two on their conversions. They made it the first time with Carey and they were stopped the second time around. Carey right now lined up in the right slot. He'll come in motion to the left. Inside give goes, did not make it. They tried to give it to Ben Watkins. Ben did not make it in. Two point conversion and is no good. We'll 10, take a timeout, 619 to play here in the first half. And on the car five, quest of Greenfield, five. South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard, it is South Hadley 20 six, and Frontier 6. Half. South Hadley 20, Frontier 6. Kickoff taken by number 10, Garrett DeForest. Tripped up by number 14, Kyle Johnson. 
Frontier will have the ball first down at their own 34 yard line. Pass is complete to number 10, Garrett DeForest. Stopped by number 14, Kyle Johnson. Gain of nine on the play brings up a second and one ball at the 43 yard line. Oh. And that pass is intercepted by number nine, James Kircher. Good for a sell early touchdown. Kucher with a pick six just as we were getting it back from Bobby. Took it back, what, Sean? Close to close to 40 yards Boy, there. I'll tell you what, yeah, it was too bad, too. Matt Hildreth had just hit a pretty nice pass to DeForest. Picked up some yards the first down, but yeah, pick six the other way. Now South Hadley's going to go for the two-point conversion. And they give it to Carey. He'll take it left side, and he and cruises in, and they have now opened up a 28-6 to six lead after the pick six. We'll take a quick 30-second timeout. Back in South Hadley after this on Bear Country 95.3. And now Seth Hadley with a little squib kick onside. He went to 10 yards and went off a frontier player. Battle for the ball, and the Tigers get it. Oh, Sean, when it rains, of course. Uh, going for the throat I'm right sorry, there, man. Yeah, again, the, the big Dylan six, the 26 six lead, and then an onside kick executed perfectly. As you said, went to 10 yards, bounced off one of the big men up front, and South Hadley was all over that ball. So they're going to start this drive in frontier territory at the 47 yard line, and yeah. It's not raining yet, but it kind of is on frontier a little bit. <laughs> it is, absolutely. It has not worked out well here in the second quarter. You know, you felt so good. There's a time on the field. And we'll step aside for this break. We'll be back with more after this on Bear Country 95.3. In Division 8, as you just heard, Hoosick Valley leading Turner's Falls at Turner's Falls. The other half of that bracket is number one Lee, number four Ware. Division 7, you have this semifinal here. This is a 2-3 matchup. Number two, South Hadley, number three, Frontier. Number one, Wakona, number four, Taconic. And Taconic in week one, they put that's the team that put up 70 on them. Right. He stamped it. Right, right. <laughs> he stamped it did pretty well after that. Yeah, though. they did. They had another fine season. Yep. Did not make the postseason. They gave Turner's Falls a run. In fact, that league championship was not decided until last Friday night. Yeah, great game. And the handoff now goes to Kyle Johnson, number 14. Number 14 Kyle and Johnson. Kyle will take it for a gain of two to the 45 yard line of Frontier, second down and eight. Gain of two on the play brings up a second down and eight. And the wind the yeah, picking up, it. no rain yet. Again, if you're heading out late tonight for some reason, folks, uh, definitely take it easy. It's going to be windy, but especially very rainy. I saw some of the uh, the radar, some of what's heading our way. I mean, it is going to pour in Western Mass. Uh, Looks like it's going to be here from 6 to 8 and maybe some lightning in there, too. So that was a little yeah. scary. But. Pitch on the left side goes to Carey. A little spin move. He gets wrapped up after just a short game. One of the frontier defensive linemen able to come up and bring him down well, Shawi of the first down marker. Yeah, give him a couple there, 78 yards for carry on seven carries for him. He's found the touch, uh, he's found the end zone twice. Once on the ground and once when he caught that ball thrown by Borowski. The only pass Borowski's thrown so far in this game, a 20 yard touchdown. Yeah, they really don't throw too much. I haven't needed to. Jacob Bryant was on that uh, last tackle, by the way. He hasn't given up. 
Third down and five. 42 yard line of Frontier. Roski on the right side, steps up. He takes off into the Frontier secondary, stretches forward. He has the first down at the 36 of the Hawks. Yep, no doubt, nice effort by him. And again, stretching the ball right at the very end just to make sure he got it there. And he certainly did. Five carries for him, 25 yards on the ground. First down. Yeah, he's a very line. springy athlete. He's, uh, you know, he's not the tallest kid for a quarterback, but he's got decent size out there. He's 5'10", 175, but quick, very quick feet. Yeah, he's got uh, good athletic ability. Pitch on the left side. Oh, right Tyrell Braithwaite got hit by Hildreth into the backfield, and back to the 40-yard line. It's going to be second down and 14. Oh, great tackle there by Matt Hildreth just blowing up that play in the Ball backfield. The play, so maybe that's what Frontier needed to get this defense yards. going. Gonna be second and long now. Second about 14 for South Hadley. Ball at the 40 yard line of Frontier. We're down to 2.45 to play here in the first half. Our Greenfield Savings Bank high school football halftime report coming up. 28-6 though in favor of the Tigers. We we'll also talk Patriots. They have the Sunday night game this week after having the Monday night game at Buffalo last week. And up goes to Hunter Carey. He gets back the yardage lost and moves the pile forward. He does not go down easily. And I'm going to spot him down inside the 40 yard line, uh, inside the 35 yard line, rather, of Frontier. And off the number 200 Carey. A little help from his linemen as well. Looked Stop like he'd been bottled up. Going to mark it back just a little bit, but going to have a five on that play. It'd be Stand third and nine now. Okay, so you go Frontier. Line. It's four down territory, so the keep these guys out of the line. end zone and maybe score before halftime, and maybe, maybe there'll be hope. Right. Another touchdown here. Oh, yeah. Boy. That could. Now, I hate to say that at halftime, but I agree. Good I know tough. what you're thinking, Sean, if Good they tough. score again here. On the right side, Borowski steps up, dumps it off wow. to Hunter oh, Carey. Ball is out, loses the handle. Hit. Big battle what for it. It looks like you're at the forest, got it for Frontier. Not going to matter. That's going to be roughing the passer. The forest, who actually ended up with the ball, came in, and his helmet came up around the helmet of uh, Borowski. Personal foul, yeah. yeah, we can hear the official. Yeah. Personal foul, roughing, roughing the passer. The he came in head high. 15 yards and an automatic first down. Yeah, so none of that mattered, and uh, that's too bad for Frontier. That could have been a turnover instead. Yeah, South Hadley. Hadley calls a timeout. We'll step aside as well. We are down to 135 left to play here in the first half on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard in South Hadley 28 and Frontier 6. So the 15-yard penalty is assessed down to the Frontier 20-yard line. So the Tigers in the red zone again, and we'll see if the Red Hawks can somehow, some way, keep them out of the end zone here. Well, you can see DeForest came in. The crown of the helmet came up right underneath the face mask there of the quarterback, Borowski. So an easy flag to throw there, and a, a big mistake. Again, you don't want to make too many the turnovers and penalties are going to kill you. And that penalty right there may end up being one of those. They've been fourth down and long. Now a double handoff, it goes to Carey. Not fooled though, were the Red Hawks. They're gonna bring Hunter down for a loss back to the 21 yard line. And the clock is still Hand going, a minute 22 left. Carey. Now they do call another timeout that is credited to South Hadley. We'll take a quick Austin. 30 second break. We'll be back after this on Bear Country. And a 30 second timeout, South Hadley. Loss of two on a play brings up a second down and 12. Dry out, out of Neil Zielinski. We'll take a dry out of Neil Zielinski. All right, guys, come on. What do you think, Alec? Let's have a round of applause for the cheerleaders from South Hadley. Doing a great job over there, team. Second down and 12 from the 22 yard line. Borowski back to pass, throws over the middle, incomplete. Had a couple of guys down there. Pass and it kind of landed complete. between the, the short route and the long one. It'll be third down. Yeah, absolutely. It looked like he wasn't quite sure which one he's going to throw it to. So he kind of threw it in between them and ended up being short of the deep guy, although the defender was right there. So just as well, it fell incomplete. Just a second pass attempted by Borowski. Again, he hit the 20 yard touchdown in the first quarter and that incompletion there. 
22-yard line. Third down and 12, 28-6. South Hadley, a minute 14 left here in the first half. Again, the Greenfield Savings Bank High School Football Halftime Report coming up. We have a lot to talk about. Back to pass, Borowski. They're setting up a screen. Left side, that is caught, but it's not going anywhere. Nice play by the Frontier D all the way back to the 29-yard line. Watkins caught it, but had nowhere to go. Yo, yeah, absolutely. They blew that screen up, spun them around, and yeah, big loss there. So it's going to be fourth down now, and South Hadley can get a first down down around the 10, but the ball spotted at the 30, so Frontier can hold this one play. They're, getting, look, they're letting the clock roll, so we've got 45 seconds to play. South Hadley's gonna let that thing run right down. They're not in any hurry to run this play. Tyrell Braithwaite comes out. And Kyle Johnson checks back in. Now, one more great defensive play here is what's required for the Hawks. We'll see if they can get it. Pitch on the right side to Johnson. Hat back options. Got a man open down there. It's Carey. He's got it. Tiptoes along the sideline. He's out of bounds inside the five. The halfback option, and it worked. Yep, and Carey again, so quick, running away from the defenders. Wide open, just had to make the catch. Then he tried to tippy-toe down the sideline. Couldn't quite stay in bounds, though. At the four-yard line with 18 seconds to play. They do have timeouts to use. Ball is on the four-yard line. 18.3 seconds left. And, yeah, you mentioned, Sean, they have, a, what, two? Two timeouts, yep. Two timeouts to work with, so, you know, they don't necessarily have to, if they had no timeouts, passing uh, definitely would be an option. They can go either way now. And they pitch it, left side, it goes to Carey, still going. Oh, ball's out. The well. ball came out late, but they already whistled it dead. South it was Hadley. actually recovered by South Hadley, but you can't and fumble the ball two, forward, so it would not have been a touchdown, seven, but now they will call a timeout with 11.2 seconds left. We'll take a 30 second timeout. This is high school football on Bear Country 95.3. Off to Second two, down and goal from the four. The handoff goes on the left side, and Carey did not quite get in, Sean. He's just outside the goal line, and that is going to bring up now a third down with only four seconds left in the half. The time on the field, we're going to keep it right here, though. Well, this could be the ball game right here. South Hadley scores, and I really would find it very hard to imagine a scenario where Frontier comes all the way back to win it if they keep them out they have that glimmer of hope. Yeah, again, 26-6, so you're down by three scores right now, and right, you've got one shot here. South Hadley just used their last timeout, so 4.3 seconds. This will be the last play of the first half, barring a defensive penalty. So yeah, imperative for Frontier to keep them out of the end zone on this play. Well, they have played pretty well on the stride. The halfback option was a big play. The penalty, obviously, the roughing the passer, yep. put it on the 20-yard line, but they've also blown up a few plays here. They need to do it one more time. Look at the nose of the ball, though, Sean. Yep. It's just outside the goal line. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one here for Frontier, but this is huge for them. Well, I wonder what South Hadley will do. You could get the quarterback under center for the first time tonight and just have him sort of just lean in. That's I mean, I it's that close. Time, yeah. But they're not going to put him under center. He's going to come out of the shotgun. Come in motion to the right. Borowski will keep it himself, and he is into the end zone for the touchdown. Six more for the Tigers. They lead it 34 to six. Yeah, and as you just said, Jeff, that one could be the one that just does it for Frontier as far as breaking their back. 26-6, you know, you get that one play to stop them. Could have run into the locker room on a high. South Hadley is gonna get the ball first in the second half, so. They haven't posted the score yet. No. For some reason, now they're about to, but it should be 34 to six. And why are they not posting the score? Well, it'd be 33, right? We'd add the six and then they no, go for two here. It should, be, it should be 34 to six right now. And they're going for two. And it will be successful. Carey converts. That is the end of the first half. South Hadley, South Hadley has opened up a 36-6 to six lead over the Frontier Red Hawks. 
Stay tuned to Greenfield Savings Bank High School Football Halftime Report coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Duffins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Welcome to the Greenfield Savings Bank High School Football Halftime Report. We're at South Hadley High School tonight, and I see one of the officials is laughing right now. It's been kind of a laugher so far for South Hadley. The Tigers with a 36-6 lead here at halftime. We knew they were good. We knew they could score a lot of points, and true to form, they put up 36 on a pretty good Frontier D. Well, and the special teams as well. I mean, Frontier, their first three drives, they started at their own 20 and twice at their own 30. Uh, not able to make a lot of headway there. They had that one drive where, you know, they had a couple of big plays and ended up in the end zone. We thought, okay, there's the spark that they needed, but since then it's been all South Hadley, and, uh, yeah, Frontier just does not have an answer to stop this offense uh, uh, on a regular basis here in the second half. Uh, they're going to have to score an awful lot of points themselves, and I don't see that happening, and I don't see them stopping South Hadley very much in the second half either. Garrett DeForest, a 20-yard touchdown run. That was the lone Red Hawk score. Made it 14-6 to at the time, John. We were thinking pretty good things, but then South Hadley outscored Frontier from that point on 22 to nothing to lead by 30 here at halftime. Real, is, is there anything the Red Hawks can do at this point to at least make a game of this? Well, again, they're gonna, their game is predicated on holding the ball, going on long drives. You know, they don't usually have the, the quick score type offense where they throw the ball down the field an awful lot. Uh, again, they're going to have to break some big plays. They're going to have to get some, pile up some points here real quick. And the, on the defensive side, they're just going to have to figure out a way to stop this quarterback and this running back. And right now, they just don't have an answer. And at times, though, they have. No, but, but, consist good plays. but consistently, they have not. No, and there were some great plays. As a matter of fact, yeah, I mean, they, they were able to get in the backfield and blow up some plays. And But then next thing you see, Hunter Carey running down the middle of the football field with the, with the ball. Or, you know what I mean? It was... Uh, had to be disheartening for them as well. You make some good plays and then give up the first down. You know, that's kind of the way that first half went for their defense. Frontier down by 30 here at halftime, 36 to six. Frontier is one of two local teams involved in postseason action this weekend. Turner's Falls playing at home tonight. They're the number two seed in division eight. They're hosting number three, Husik. Husik led six to nothing at the end of one. We'll be getting an update from Bobby C. I'm sure anytime now, a halftime update from Berto Fields and we will have his report for you very soon here on Bear Country 95.3. We'll take a time out here on the Halftime Report. Back with more from South Hadley next on Bear Country 95.3. Frontier set to kick off now as the second half set to get underway. So again, we have 22 minutes left of football and Frontier kicking off to begin the second half. Trailing by 30. And that's a nice kick to carry at the 15. Left hash mark across the 30 to the 39 yard line. Reasonably good field position to begin this drive for the South Hadley Tigers. First down and 10. Well, if you're Frontier, you don't want to feel like you're out of this game at halftime. So really what you're going to have to do here is come out and get a stop. You know, South Hadley gets the ball here first. You cannot let them go down and score on this drive. You just cannot. No. Because uh, at that point, it's blowout time. Yep. I mean, we're on, we're on the fringe of blowout territory anyway. The only reason why we're not saying it is because there's still 22 minutes of football. Right, and Frontier did show some flashes on offense, but you know, not enough consistency in the first half. Three receivers to the near side right. This has usually been a quarterback draw out of this formation. It is again, and nice job there. Nice tackle made there by Hildreth. Short gain, by if anything, the ball to the 41-yard line. A gain of about one, seven, second down and nine. 27 yards on the ground for the quarterback Borowski on seven carries. Hildreth has had a fine game defensively. Well, he really has. He, he's blown up a couple of plays and made some good tackles as well. But they need a lot more where that came from. 
And South Hadley, they're content to use a lot of time off of the play clock. Yeah. We're expecting heavier rain later. I thought actually by the second half of this game we would be getting into that rain, but nothing so far. Second down and long, it's Hunter Carey on the left side. And he doesn't quite make it to the 45. Four, uh, four momentum to the 44. That'll bring about third and six. Yeah, the original the forecast I was looking at earlier showed some nasty thunderstorms right about six, seven, eight o'clock area. And yeah. 100% chance of rain after that. And I was wondering if we were going to play this game tonight. I thought maybe we'd go tomorrow during the day or tomorrow night. Yeah, the lightning is the only thing. The MIA, you know. Yeah. Lightning in the area, every strike, you get away X amount of time afterwards. Usually it's 30 minutes. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I have a story to tell about that. Uh, I'll, actually, I'll try to sneak it in right here. I was at a Turnersville softball game um, down at the UMass softball complex, which they're there every spring. Okay. You mark your calendar. Okay. And thunderstorm came, but only in the distance. There was a lightning bolt probably 10 miles away. They call it. We, we went to the lightning delay. Mm -hmm. On a sweep, it goes to Braithwaite. And Tyrell is not going to make the first down. It will be fourth down at about three. So yeah, so I'm in the press box there at the softball complex and the lightning was way on the horizon. Probably up in uh, Sunderland or even Deerfield. And they had to stop the game. They said for 30 minutes, the sun was out in about seven minutes. And we're all, and we're like, let's come on, let's play. But they have, you know, they err on the side of caution. Absolutely, and it certainly makes sense. Fourth down and four, so for the first time, South Hadley will be punting, although the punter's not that deep. In fact, it is going to be a fake. Brasky's going to take it right side. Did there. not make it. Needed to get to the 50. Only made it to the 47. And the Red Hawks will take over on down. Well, very aggressive there by South Hadley. You've got the big lead. And instead of punting the ball and hitting Frontier deep, they've not had a lot of success taking the ball from deep in their own end. And they decide to go instead. And Frontier's defense up to the task. So. Obviously, this will be their best starting field position. We'll call it the 47-yard line of South Hadley. So a breath of life, maybe? Well, if they can score, I mean, it is. It's an uphill. I mean, it's going to take the, the confluence of about four or five different factors all in Frontier's favor to pull this one out. But they're going to give it a shot. Handoff to Garrett DeForest, and he takes it from the 47 down to the 41, a gain of six, it'll be second and four. Yeah, they bundled him up pretty well here tonight. Four carries for DeForest, 30 yards on the ground. Kirkendall had three carries in that first half, six yards, and Josh Samaski in the first couple carries of the game, ended up with 12 yards there in the first half. Eight minutes to play here, third quarter. South Hadley, 36, Frontier six. Two receivers to the far side right, out of the shotgun formation, Hildreth. He'll roll to the right. Sets up, lets it fly. Flag in the backfield, the pass is caught for a first down by Blight to the 30 yard line. We'll see if it sticks. Got to be a hold. We have a penalty on the play. It's a chop block against the Hawks, and that will take away a first down. They are not helping themselves with the penalties. No, and that's the second big penalty. That's the second 15 yarder that's going to be assessed against them. That would have been a first down inside the 30 yard line, Sean. Instead, they're going to be back in their own territory again. But twice they've done that some themselves tonight. Look like they were going to make a stop on South Hadley and then a roughing the passer 15 yard penalty cost them there. South Hadley ended up scoring on that drive where it looked as though Frontier may stop them. They're going to mark that ball right at the 47 of Frontier. Got the ball right on the paw print. <laughs> so artificial turf surface here and they have the big, sort of looks like Clemson's Yeah, beautiful helmet. field. Yeah, very nice. Second down and long. Hand off to Forrest. Great surge though by South Hadley. They were waiting for him. No gain. Got the ball back to the 48. It'll be third Jared down and 14. Yeah, long third down South here. They're going to get down, down almost to the 35, up the 37 yard line of South Hadley for the first down. So third, third down and 15. 15. I got to say it's four down territory here when you're down by 30. I would say so, yeah. So they have two shots to go 15 yards to see if they can do it. Samaski and Freeman to the near side left. Two receivers up top on the right. Long back is DeForest. Hildreth will take it on the option. He gets it back into South Hadley territory, down to the 45. He's seven yards shy of a first down. It'll be fourth down, and again, we are anticipating the Hawks will go here. Yeah, it certainly would make sense. Only question is, what kind of play? Got to get nine yards for the first down. 
Four carries for Hildreth, 30 yards on the ground for him after that tote. Three receivers to the near side left. Shotgun formation, Hildreth calling the signals, takes the snap, passes. It's gonna get intercepted. It's by Carey at midfield, brings it to the 48 yard line. Intended receiver was Freeman down there. But by the time he turned his head, the ball had already been picked. All right, how many hundred carries are out there? <laughs> that kid's just everywhere. He has been doing a phenomenal job here. Ball badly underthrown, actually thrown way behind the intended receiver there. So really just a bad throw by Hildreth and Carey right there to take advantage of it. And back over to the other side of the 50 they go, so they'll start this drive at the 47 of the Red Hawks. So yeah, not what you want to dare for Frontier. Six minutes to play here, third quarter, 36-6 in favor of the Tigers. They're going to pinch it to Carey on the left side, brings it for three yards from the 48 to the 45. It'll be second down and seven from there. 12 carries, 91 yards for Carey. A couple of catches. Makes it look easy, doesn't it? Yeah, he really does. Caught a touchdown, running a touchdown, running two touchdowns. But I'll tell you what, again, we're anticipating Wakona coming out. I mean, as good as the South Hadley team is, I don't know how they're going to keep up with that whole crew up there. We saw them against Northampton. And they just dismantled them. They were, they were Sean, they were unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, men against boys, really. Just, yeah, two different levels of football right there. Complete dominance. Second down and seven. Borowski, the quarterback, takes it on the draw. Nearly made the first down, but got spun down at the just outside the 40-yard line. By number five, Hunter Third down and two. Down by number 68, so we got a couple Samaski. of hunters that the Red Hawks are dealing with tonight. Yeah, the big freshman there, John Samaski, makes the, the tackle. Gain a four, gain a third, third and about three. three. Ball just over the 40-yard line. Clock continues in motion. We're down to 4.45 to play here in the third quarter. The wind picking up. Yeah, you can feel it. And getting a little cooler now. It's very balmy when we got here. You're, you're in a t-shirt right now. This is delightful. It really yeah. is. I mean, early November, we, we've had some really cold That's nights. Fantastic. It's going to be cold tomorrow night, though. Cold and windy. And they give it a nice second effort by Tyrell Braithway. Gotta be close. He is needed to get it to the 38, and that's right where the stick is. So they're gonna they're gonna move the sticks. Tough First run. Ten. Yeah, Tough nice run. run there by Braithway. Not a big guy either. 5'7", 135. He's a junior. Seven carries, 18 yards. But nice job to get the first down there. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be one of those days where the high temperature is going to come in the early morning, and that's going to drop during the day. And it's going to get very windy, but still come to Pumpkin Fest. I was going to say, go stand up on top of a big scaffolding. Yeah, yeah, let's that's, do that. That, that. That's my plan. <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> Smash some pumpkins. That, that, that is a lot of fun. It does sound like fun. On the sweep, it's Hunter Carey looking for some gap. Bounces it to the outside. First down and more. Still going inside the 25-yard line, and another first down and ten. Yeah, and so Carey now well over 100 yards on the yeah. on the game. I got about 106 yards. 13 carries for him again. A couple of First touchdowns down. he's found, an interception Ball just now. And caught a touchdown pass as well. Kids getting, just been everywhere. Getting some new guys in there. Dylan Cottingham, a freshman running back, just checked in, number 34. Hunter Carey's going to come out. As the uh, Tigers now going to sprinkle in some new guys. They're leading by 30. We're down to three minutes to play here in the third. Cottingham will line up in a slot right. And the handoff goes to Ben Watkins right up the gut. He's inside the 20 yard line. They're right back into the red zone for uh, be second down. Second down by number 65. And Jackie about Fong. six or so. Yeah, first carry for Watkins. And we'll call it uh, we'll call it six Getting yards six there. The play brings up a second. Hey, the other four. thing what uh, what Matt Gregory and Ball I like to do is that pumpkin smash is we, we set up down below at right at the, the uh, the smash zone, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the point of impact. With targets and stuff? And uh, it's not a target, but no. what we do is we use our, our cameras to do slow-mo ah. of the smashing pumpkin. It's a, Sean, it's addicting. It sounds we, fun. <laughs> we, we have a lot of fun. Snap up the middle, quarterback draw, down to the 11-yard line, and that should be good for a first down, but it's not first and goal, it'll be first and 10 from the 11. And by the way, Pumpkin Smash five, is a fundraiser for Franklin Stop County 4-H. So Fong. you're helping out those 4-H kids who will be there tomorrow, by the way. Who cleans up all the pumpkins after? 
Uh, we shovel them into this big, uh, this big bin, mm -hmm. and it becomes compost. Wow. It ends up returning to the earth. A pumpkin pie. You, yeah, you mm. could do that too. <laughs> A couple of years ago, the w the winner they had put a balloon with Jello inside the pumpkin, and that was the one that won for the biggest Ooh, splat. How fun! It's Hunter Carey over the left tackle inside the ten, inside the five. A flag in late. Hunter takes it down to the two yard line, but we'll see if this sticks. It looks like it is not. Yeah, wave that off. Well, South Hadley's not made too many mistakes. That's just their second penalty of the night. That'll be a hold. So wipe off that play. March them back ten. Rare mistake for the Tigers. They've had a pretty clean game, right, Sean? I didn't hear the stat you just Yeah, said. no, just a second penalty to uh, a yep, yep. couple of 10 yarders against them. Frontier, only three penalties, but two of them were 15 yarders that, that hurt. Yeah, Coach Scott Taylor of uh, South Hadley, I mean, he'll have to kind of get a little nitpicky on uh, on the game film. I mean, there's been some blocks missed. Right. Frontier's had some penetration, so I mean, a good coach will find that. You know, you don't want to don't want your kids thinking that they're infallible. And as we mentioned, they'll have a tough opponent next week, no matter who comes out. But again, overwhelmingly, it's probably going to be Wakona. Going to throw down to the end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown. And that pass is complete. The number 12, Aiden Sullivan. Aiden Sullivan. Or was that Dylan Cousin or 13? Is that 12? That's 12. That's Aiden Sullivan. Touchdown, Sullivan. Touchdown, South Hadley. 42 to six. Tell you a nice route run by him too. He was behind the defender and then he just kind of floated up towards the goal line and he was in a perfect position to, to receive that pass from Borowski. So Borowski three of four passing, 35 yards, a pair of touchdowns. Pretty good night for that young man. Tigers will go for two. Leading now by 36 points. Borowski pitches it. Right side, Braithwaite, and he will make it in. The two-point conversion the is good. Four. Tyrell Braithwaite is good. Minute nine left to play third quarter. Both Car quest on Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne South scoreboard. It is now Frontier South Hadley, 44, Frontier 6. Go, boys. We're going to start by one game today. Hey, let's go out of here. Matt Hildreth takes it from his own 21-yard line and skitters up to the 34. Nice little return there. Take by number seven, and Matt Hildreth. Frontier now will just try to five, get some Barowski. things done before this game's over, but South Frontier Hadley is going to win it. They're up now 44-6, to six, and they will advance line. to the Western Mass Division 7 championship game next, I believe it's going to be next Saturday. That's, it was a Saturday last year. Well, that was just a big drive there for South Hadley. They ate up a lot of clock, and... Again, we knew Frontier was hanging on by a thread, but boy, ate up most of that third quarter and scored another touchdown. So yeah, I would say this one is in the bag. Let's see what Frontier can do here on offense from their own 32. Hildreth out of the shotgun. Coming motion, Samaski. Quarterback draw, no, he did hand off right side for short gain. That's uh, Kirkendall. Kirkendall took it for a gain of maybe one. Carried by 45, Alex Second Kirkendall. down and long. And let's Stop see, number 35 Ryan seconds Lemmel. left here in the third. No they bottled the up Kirkendall pretty well tonight. Dead. Four carries, just seven yards for Alec. Yeah, he's had games where he looked really strong. Samaski, uh, earlier in the season, back in October, looked really good. Yep. Their main weapon, of course, all season long has been Garrett DeForest. Out of the gun on second and long. And that pass is underthrown. Coming Passes out of the backfield was Samaski. It'll be third down and long. Third and nine. That was just a timing pass there. It was two steps and just let it go. I guess who was in the area again? Kucher. He was. <laughs> and he didn't nearly come up with a pick, but he was in the neighborhood. You got to look out for number nine. He's been everywhere in D. Uh, again, he had the one that he thought he was going to get. DeForest ended up kind of pulling it out of the air away from him as he ran by. He thought he had it and he was going to go to the end zone, but he did eventually do that later in the game. Third down and long. Double wideouts to either side. Lone back Kirkendall. And Alec will take it up the gut, and he brings it out across the 35 up to the 38 yard line. He is still about four and a half yards shy of the first down, so fourth down here. And that'll end the quarter. End of three here in South Hadley on the conquest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. All Tigers, South Hadley leading Frontier, 44-6 on the conquest 
of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Children Hall scoreboard. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslex Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Fourth down and five for Frontier. And the ball spotted on their own 38 yard line and they will try to go here, keep their offense on the field, try to get into the end zone again before this one's over. Back to pass as Hildreth throws over the middle. It is caught for a first down. Blight down to the 46 yard line of the Tigers. And the drive will continue. Very nice, 67 yards, three of five passing as Matt Hildreth. Carried the ball five times for 30 yards as well. And a first down there for Frontier, down to the 45-yard line of South Hadley. So folks listening at home in the South County, Frontier uh, again going to go down to defeat here tonight. However, uh, the MIAA, they'll go find out who won, look at who won in the tournament this weekend. They'll play a non-qualifier team. And that goes to Alec Kirkendall. He was caught in the backfield and found a little space and brings it down to the 39-yard line. And ran somebody over at the end of that play as well. Gain a six, second and four coming up. So they'll play another team that probably what they'll do is they'll get matched up against another team that was eliminated from playoff consideration this weekend. They try to match up teams that are statistically close in terms of that whole Walker yeah. System. It does create some interesting matchups. Greenfield played last night, lost decisively to Putnam. Ball down, looking for Samaski. Would have been good for a first down at the Best South Hadley 32. Couldn't quite corral it. It'll be four. third down. Good to see two teams that don't normally play each other or hadn't played each other in a lot of years through this system, the playoff system and the non qualifiers. Now here's the big question, Sean. Turner's Falls. Does Big Blue play for a Western Mass title next week? Likely against Lee or. Did they play a non-qualifier? Right, and we, uh, unless we knew it was 6 nothing at the half, and they were yeah. down. And We'll hear from Bobby C. Yeah. They, well, they got the second half kickoff, right? right. Yeah, they had a chance to score there in the, end of the first half and got picked off at the, the five-yard line, I think Bobby said. Yeah, Kyle Dodge got picked at the five. In the waning seconds of that half, so Tungus could have tied or gone ahead. Little shuffle pass goes, and that's going to go to the forest for the first down and more. Let them go, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Garrett DeForest, 39 shuffle yards on that little 10, shuffle Garrett pass. And six touchdown. more for the Red Hawks. It is 44-12. Well, again, hey, good for you fellas. You know, showing a little bit of life here down big. Virtually no chance to come back and win this thing, but nice play there. Well executed. DeForest got to the outside and just ran by everybody. And once he turns on the Jets, no, he's forget quick. about it. He is quick. Even the fastest Tigers weren't able to catch him. And they will set up for the kick. Freeman will hold for Hildreth, and the kick is on the way. The kick is good. Take a timeout. 9 0 1 to play in the football game on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Children's so Scoreboard. South Hadley 44, Frontier 13. So Frontier now set to kick off, trailing now 44 13. And again, they'll try to get a defensive stop here, get into the end zone maybe one more time here. This kick's gonna chase Hunter Carey back to his own 10 on the left hash mark, and nice downfield coverage. And he is still going down to the 19 yard line, a flag at the very end of the play behind and to the right of Hunter Carey. We'll see what that's all about. Yeah, I didn't see that. I was watching Carey try to break out of that tackle and <laughs> took about three, four hops and Stayed on his feet for a while. He's gonna pick the flag up, I guess. They're gonna pick that up. Yeah, I didn't see, I wasn't looking back that way, so I wasn't sure on that one, but boy, I like watching this carry kid, he's fun. 
And he and his teammates will be playing for a Western Mass title next weekend in Division Seven. And then, after next week's games, whether they're Western Mass final games or non-qualifiers, then we break for Turkey Day. Yep. And then, hopefully, we'll have some teams out of Western Mass that'll make it all the way to Gillette for the state finals. And the handoff is going to go to Hunter Carey to the 30-yard line. It's a and quick gain of 11. Up by first down and 10, so I had 11 more. That's good for a getting well over 100, down. right? Yeah, 117 Ball yards, 14 yard carries line. for Carey. He'll come off the field now. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the last we see of him for the night. Yeah, we're going to start seeing again some new kids out here. We'll get as many of those names on the air as possible. One kid who came out earlier, Dylan Cottingham. Let's see. Uh, yeah, he's out there now. He's lined up in the right slot. That's Hunter's position. Handoff goes to Johnson. And Johnson brings it to, to number 14, let's see, where did Kyle Johnson, bring it? Stop by number 45, 33-yard line. A gain of about three, of three second down and seven. Second, second carry seven. for Johnson. Ball to 33 yard line. As usual, we'll have two Turkey Day games for you. We'll have the Mohawk Frontier game. And I know back in September, Sean, we wondered if we would have that game. Mostly, right. would Mohawk still have a football team? They do. And we'll have the Warriors and the Red Hawks Thanksgiving Eve. And then Greenfield Turners from Vetsfield on Thanksgiving morning. Up the middle, and I think that's number nine, Kucher, who gets uh, a carry. I think uh -oh, that's he's who's up. Number nine, James Kucher, stopped by oh, number 42. He got a first down to the 49-yard line, but he's in some pain, Sean. Yeah, you could see the way he went down. Oh, he went down on his shoulder. Good for, good for he got twisted around a little down. bit, and I'm not sure exactly Ball what the injury is, but he, as soon as he hit the ground, he knew. So they're going to take a look at him. We'll step aside for a timeout here. We have seven minutes to play in the football game. 44-13 South Hadley back after this on Bear Country. James Kucher after his first down carry to the 43-yard uh, line. I think yeah, his midsection, he's kind of holding the belly there, so. Yeah, it looks right. like he'll be okay. He tried to punch his coach as he was coming off the field, so he <laughs> looks like he'll be just fine. Looks like he'll be just fine. <laughs> First down and 10, Cottingham comes in motion. He'll take the pitch left side. Looks to turn the corner, nice little spin move. Another spin move, still going. i tell you what, Sean, it's only gonna go into the books as a four yard game, but what a run. And look at his teammates. <laughs> look a little like RJ Bird there. He looked, thank you. <laughs> you read spun. my mind. Hit he, the did, blocks spun. he did three <laughs> spins on one play and gained four yards. I mean, he was dead to rights in the backfield. I'll tell you, that fired up his teammates <laughs> over here. Five on play. Right, we're going to have one more play here and then we're going to check in with Bobby C. We have an update at the end of the third over at Bortle Fields. But we'll wait for this uh, one play here and then we'll check in with Bobby. Wow, that was quite a run. That was fun. This is one of the, uh, We've seen some good runs tonight. That carry run down the sideline, that was just amazing. That was just sick. Way back in the first quarter. Johnson in motion to the right. Go back to Cottingham. Up the middle, got tripped up. Nearly got a first down. He's a pretty quick kid. It'll be third down and short. Let's check in now from the Turner's Falls. Who's the game? Here's Bear Country's Bobby C. By number seven, Matt Hildreth. Brings up a third down and two. Ball to Frontier, 49 yard line. Carry by number nine, James Kucher, tripped up by number six, Corbin Blight. That's good for a South Hadley first down. Ball the Frontier, 46 yard line.
Hand off to number 14, Kyle Johnson. Stop by number 65, Jackie Fong. Tight one over at Mortal Fields, and the fumble's not line. really helping Turner's Falls cause. That's what really killed Greenfield last week in that loss at Belchertown, and they have fumbled it twice. And a pickoff right in the front of the end zone and there at the end of the first half. So, yep. yeah, so chances for Turner's Falls not able to capitalize, it sounds like. Second down here now for South Hadley. They're inside the 40-yard line, and that is Cottingham again. A young runner who's really showing what he can do. Uh, he could probably play. He'd get a lot more playing time on another team. 5'7", 130 pounds. Yeah, pretty quick out of the backfield there. And he brought it for a first down and 10 to the 34-yard line. Usually when it's these younger kids, you, you know, there's a, a big drop in the skill right. level. And then the starting defense for the team that's getting beat badly, they, they kind of handle things quite easily. It's not the case here. This kid's, he can pick them up and put them down. Uh, and he's running against the starting defense still here for Frontier. Exactly. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Baraski's still in there, quarterback. He will give it to Kucher, who went out a moment ago, brings it inside the 30 down to the Red Hawk 29 yard line. Let's take a look at the clock, 2.45 to play. So we're about to go final here. So keep listening. Um, they are running behind us up there at Turner's Falls. So this game will end before that one. But be listening, we'll have, uh, we'll have Dave Reno find a, a place within Leah, uh, Leah's show to run Bobby's final report. He has uh, given us our three reports, end of one, halftime, end of three. He'll be on with the final again. Pusik clinging to a 6-0 lead. They have the ball in Turner's Falls territory to begin the fourth quarter, but we're nearly done here. They're gonna go to Kucher up the middle again, breaking tackles into the secondary. He is down to the 15 yard line of Frontier and another tying your first Kuchar. down. Yeah, it doesn't look any worse for the wear there on that run, able to cut back inside and make a miss. And then all of a sudden, South Hadley in a position here at the 15 yard line, first and 10 there. We'll put up a few more points here before the game ends. Let's see what they do. And another new runner, Bailey Avasada Taylor. He's a senior, and he just checked into the game. A minute and a half left here. Yeah, so we'll see if they actively try to score here. And still no rain, but you can hear our, our mics here. The wind is picking up, but this is nothing compared to what we're going to see tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. It's really going to be windy around here. Or so they said. Mm -hmm. And they're going to take a knee. That's yeah, what I was wondering. If, if they're going to try to punch it in, this is good sportsmanship. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they've, they've had the better of it. Yeah, there's no need to even run another play there. Yeah, so they can take, it looks like they'll have to take one more knee. Yeah, one more knee. And then that will, or maybe two, and then that will wrap it up. So Frontier will drop in and play a non-qualifier opponent next week. And South Hadley will play likely Wakona for the Western Mass Championship. Yeah, good luck with that, huh? Boy, we saw them a couple weeks ago. and. Well, Sean, if that could be a decent game, but let me tell you, I, I, I don't, I don't think Wakona is going to. I think Wakona is probably going to go to Gillette. I would think and so. And then, yeah, Once and then you know, you're game. playing Eastern Mass. You're probably playing against a great team from from Eastern Mass. But I don't think anybody out of Central Mass is going to beat them either. 22 seconds left. They don't have to snap, so that will do it. And the two quarterbacks. That was a great job there by Borowski. He went over to the safety position because he wanted to see Matt Hildreth, the Frontier quarterback. Again, these schools, they're not that far apart. I and mean, this is South Hadley. It's just on the other side of uh, the okay. notch from Hadley. They play basketball yeah, against each other and baseball. Yeah. And Emma, uh, yeah, these guys AAU definitely, and all kinds definitely of know each other. The South Hadley Tigers win it convincingly. 44-13 the final here on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. Stay tuned, the post-game show coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. All right, post-game show here from South Hadley as the rain has finally begun just as we uh, ended the football game here. Two local teams involved in postseason play. It did not work out for the Frontier Red Hawks. They lose to South Hadley decisively. 
44-13, but Turner's Falls hanging in against Husik. They trail the Hurricanes 12-6 at home in the fourth quarter. So it could be one and one night, maybe, potentially. We'll have to see what happens, Sean. Yeah, we'll wait and see what Turner's Falls done. I'll be uh, interested in hearing Bobby C's report as we're on our way home. This one, uh, the second half went awfully quick, but South Hadley built such a big lead that uh, they were really able to just keep the ball on the ground and uh, about the fastest uh, half of football we've ever had. But uh, they took control of this game early, and you looked at what Hendrick Gary did tonight, 13 carries, 14 carries, almost 120 yards for him. He found the end zone twice, caught a pass, uh, two passes for 52 yards on the end zone there as well. Uh, we knew South Hadley wasn't going to throw the ball an awful lot, and they didn't. They threw it four times, but completed three of those four, 35 yards. Uh, Borowski threw a touchdown as well. He ran for a bunch of yards, and uh, again, uh, just uh, too tough South Hadley, too fast, uh, and just too much for Frontier for tonight. Frontier will fall into a uh, non-qualifier game next week. That will be decided on Sunday. And South Hadley now advances to the Western Mass Division 7 title game, likely against the Wakona Warriors next weekend. So we will have one, maybe two broadcasts for you next weekend. We will figure out our broadcast plans over the weekend. We will let you know on Bear in the Morning with Kevin on Monday. Final score for the final time here from South Hadley High School on the conquest of Greenfield. South Deerfield, the Shelburne scoreboard. The South Hadley Tigers 44, the Frontier Red Hawks 13. For Sean Hubert and our studio producer, Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you for joining us tonight and have a great weekend. In Bear Country, we'll see you at Pumpkin Smash tomorrow in Shelburne Falls.